everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be making a briar lead rope and lunge line. So the materials you will need for both of the projects are some glue, I'm using hot glue, thin ribbon, like one, of a, one eighth of an inch thin ribbon, some chain, lobster clasps and jump rings, some assorted pieces of string or embroidery thread, uh, some thin cardboard like from a cereal box, and a pair of scissors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is roughly cut out a circle from my thin cardboard, just like this, and then you want to poke a hole in the center of it. After that's done, you're going to cut eight notches around the outside of the circle. Then you're going to take some embroidery thread and cut a long piece of it. Once it's folded in half, it should be a little longer than the length you want your lead rope to be. Then cut three more. So I cut two purple and two cream, and then I thread the jump ring into the center of the four pieces and tied a knot. Then you're going to push the jump ring into the hole we made in the circle. And then after that, you can evenly distribute the pieces of string into each notch. You just need to cut one of the strings because we only need seven of them, not eight. So you should have something like this. Then you're going to hold it so the empty notch is facing you. Count up three to the right, take the third one and move it down to the empty notch. Rotate the circle in the way you counted, and then count up three more and repeat. This is a friendship bracelet making technique that I'm sure a lot of you probably already know, but in case you don't, this is how you do it. <laughs> so you're just going to keep counting and rotating until you basically make the size lead rope you want. It does take a little while, but I find that it looks a lot like a lead rope when it's done. And then you can slowly pull the jump ring out the bottom to see what your lead rope is going to look like. So then, you, once it's completely done and it's the length that you want, you can remove the strings from each notch and tie them in a knot at the end. You can either leave the, uh, some of the extra hanging off the knot to kind of get a tasseled look, or you can cut it and add some glue to make sure it doesn't unravel. After you're done, you can open up the jump ring at the other end of the lead rope and insert a lobster clasp. And then after that, you are completely done. You have a lead rope and it doesn't take too long to make. It just takes, it's kind of repetitive. It does take a little bit, but not that long really. If you don't have embroidery floss or you want a quick resolution, you can try different types of string you might have around your house. This is satin knotting cord, and if you were to just fold it and glue it over a jump ring and lobster clasp like this, then it could look a lot like a lead rope. You just have to seal the other end. I also have this leather jewelry cord, which is a little thin, but it could also work. But my personal favorite is a round shoelace because it has kind of the pattern that a lead rope has and you just have to glue it to a jump ring and not the other end and you'd be good to go. So for the lunch line I'm using a big and a small jump ring, if you only have one size that's fine, and a lobster clasp. So I'm going to start by gluing the jump ring, the larger jump ring, to a piece of ribbon. Then I'm going to open that and put in a piece of chain. So I just have this old chain from a piece of jewelry. Then after you close that, you can just measure out the size of the chain that you want. You only need about an inch or two. Then I put the small jump ring on the other end of the chain, followed by a lobster clasp. So it should look like this. Then you're going to cut the ribbon to the length that you want, 
and fold over the end to make a handle. So you should have something just like this and then you can just hook it to the bridle by feeding your chain through and then just clip it to the, to the jump ring at the other end and you have a really, really easy to make lunch line. You can make them longer or shorter depending on the size you want and there you go. So that is how you make a lead rope and lunch line for a briar. Thanks for watching. Bye.